I can see your face, see the light in your eyes I can see the change, feel the heat of the fire If you can feel the pain, then you know you're alive Both feet on the line, by enemies I will fight mm -hmm. So what I would say to young children, the most important thing to do is know that you were born for a purpose that's, that's the first thing. Because you were born for a purpose, you have to figure out what that purpose is. So life is like a game, right? But you have all the chips. You have all the chips to win. You have every piece that you need to win. You just have to play on it. And don't steal any. And don't wish you had some of the chips. You got your chips. Mm -hmm. Now, with your chips, win. Which comes with performance. Because like I said, nobody remembers whether you lose or you win. They know how you perform. On the flames of Victor, it's far from the hard process, it was an easy process. What can we improve on the process? A lot of us don't realize that we can that that option is even out there. I mean, um, you don't think you know, you just think you've lost it forever. So, when I so anyway, I had a lot of support, a lot of help in getting my voting rights restored. And I tell you, I mean, it's not so much as going to vote, go vote. I mean, it's very important. But it's the self-esteem. It's what it does for your spirit. It's what it does for your confidence. It's what it does for you as an individual to feel like, okay, I am being heard. I do have a voice. Women do have a voice. I can um, be myself again. Um, to talk to you about what it is to have a voice and what that means and how there were women that fought for 72 years and on and on just to have that right just to have a voice and you know growing up in Tennessee the suffragist story was one that I'd been told a lot happened in Nashville Tennessee I take pride in the things that we've done side by side in the revolution won't stay silent for things that I love I I will fight. Oh, no.